exclusive back with another video so you know what y'all reacted very positively to the motivation video i did yesterday so i'm gonna do another one i'm gonna get a little more deeper on y'all real quick hold on let me show y'all something a little something something real quick uh-huh get me right my cam newton jersey right there my jersey right there uh some goaties on the wall you feel me goats only get me right but nah for real <clears throat> so why cam newton is my favorite nfl player of all time the most overlooked disrespected quarterback in nfl history i don't care i'll argue that all day long <laughs> and the great thing about professional sports is that it gives somebody like me someone to look up to someone to model themselves after someone to give them someone to look up to someone that i can look up to and want to carry myself like and want to be like somebody like that that's the great thing about professional sports is it gives you an idol it gives you something to shoot for it gives you a goal it gives you a dream and it keeps you inspired so anyway let's dive into it cam newton the most overlooked and disrespected quarterback in nfl history he went 86 days after being a former nfl mvp and a former super bowl caliber quarterback <clears throat> breaking all types of records and shit i believe he went 86 days without a team hitting him up and he's on his last chance with the Patriots and that shit is a blessing. Me, I entered the NCAA transfer portal last year, last um, November, I mean December. I had 14 schools hit me up within the first day I entered the portal. A day after, I had two of them that still rocked with me and I didn't even really want to go to those two schools. My career could have been done. My football career could have been over. And I honestly thought it was until I got on the phone with the coach and he talked me into giving me a chance. And now I'm here in the spot that I'm in and I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed. When Cam Newton posted that picture saying gratitude when he's with Bill Belichick, Cam Newton is grateful because that is his last chance. I'm grateful because this is my last chance. And I have to make the most of it. He has to make the most of it. So I always rocked with him since 2011, since before that when he was at Auburn. And when 2011 when he went to the Panthers. But anyway... I just relate to him on so many levels because the amount of disrespect that he receives, no one puts respect on his name. And I'm in no way comparing myself to Cam Newton, but I'm just saying that's my idol. That gives me something to shoot for, keeps me inspired, gives me a dream. You feel me? Is that he is on his last chance. And I'm on my last chance, so I relate. I'm grateful. He is grateful because to be in the spot that I'm in and to be able to have just one more chance to live out your career and one more chance to live out your dream. I relate to that shit on so many levels. I remember my sophomore year of high school, I used to cry and fucking flip out and throw my helmet. I was all types of fucked up back then. But I was passionate about the sport when we're losing. I'm pissed off and I'm mad and I'm angry. People used to get on my ass. When Cam Newton and or Odell Beckham Jr., Two perfect examples when they're passionate about the game, so they flip out and they cuss and they do this, that, and the other on the sideline. I know it's all fucking, it's bullshit what they do about how they flip out, but still it's passionate and I feel where they're coming from. But when Tom Brady does it, it's considered passion. But when Cam Newton and Odell and me do it, it's considered feminine or whatever. But anyway, back to the topic. Is that he's on his last chance and I'm on my last chance, you feel me? Being overlooked. I feel as though I was overlooked coming out of high school. I feel as I was still overlooked in the NCAA transfer portal. Disrespected. It's disrespect that Cam Newton is on a less than a million dollar contract for the Patriots. I think that is just straight up disrespect. Me? I'm at a small school. I had a bunch of things happen to me. I had a bunch of people talk shit about me. And do I feel disrespected? Yes. Will I prove them wrong? Yes. Will Cam Newton prove the doubters wrong and make the Super Bowl? Yes, I hope so. And another thing about him, too, is that his energy, the way he carries himself. I've seen him once in person when I went to the Panthers-Giants game. And fucking, well, I've seen him play in person, like, mad times. But actually being up close, like, with him, I was at the Panthers-Giants game, right, when Josh Norman fought Odell. That game was lit. That game, that shit was crazy. So, anyway... I'm like going over like the Panthers like um like where like they walk out the tunnel right and I just seen him like walk out like up close bro and I think that was in 2015 the year they made the Super Bowl yeah it was and like he just walks out and he's just so physically alpha like he's just so physically imposing like he walks out and you're like damn like I would not want to have to tackle that dude I think I could tackle him but that's just me I have to ankle bite this shit you know what I'm saying but anyway he walks out and he's just so physically imposing he's just so physically alpha like you walk out and you're like damn 
Like, that's the type of time I'm trying to be on where you walk into a room and you turn heads. So, I like, you look at him and you're like, damn. Like, I want to walk in a room and turn heads. I'll never be six foot seven or whatever the fuck he is. But, like, just walk into a room and turn heads, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's the type of energy I'm trying to be on. So, the best thing about... And I'm usually not one for having idols. I'm not one for fucking... Because I believe you should be your own idol. I believe you should want to inspire yourself and you should be self-inspired. And you should... Everything you went through and all the hardships you went through in your life should inspire you every single day. Because me, I'm my own idol. Other than Cam, I really don't idolize, idolize anybody. Like, if I were to pick one person to want to be like other than myself, it would be him. But I don't really believe in having idols in the first place because I believe that you should be self-inspired. Because you can, you can be the best at being you. Like, I will never be anyone. I will never be Cam Newton. I will never be Vegeta. I will never be fucking Batman, obviously. You know what I'm trying to say? These are all things I, like, look up to. And, like, I want to have the best pieces of them in me. But I will never be like them. So you have to be the best at being yourself, if that makes sense. Like, I'm usually not one for having that is because, like I said, like, only you can do you. God made you, the Most High made you, and put you in the spot to be the best version of you. You feel me? But, like, anyway, I believe that having idols is, like, and it can go either way. But I believe that you should idolize yourself and want to have the best pieces of them. Because I will never, ever be anything compared to Cam Newton. Obviously not. What I'm trying to say is that I have the best things of him. And try to model myself after that. You feel me? <clears throat> but anyway, overlooked and disrespected. Let me get back on topic. I went on a little tangent. Is that even in high school, I feel as though I was overlooked. Like, I only had a couple offers coming out of high school. I was like, damn. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, shit starts to get real when you come out of high school. You're that man in high school. You're that nigga in high school. You get to college and you're like, damn. Last year, I was redshirted. I felt as though I was overlooked. I felt as though I was disrespected as fuck. The coaches didn't fuck with me. My teammates didn't fuck with me. I didn't fuck with myself. All the energy I put out, all the toxic energy I put out, I was receiving and that shit was fucking me up. Overlooked. I entered the transfer portal at 177 pounds, not knowing where the fuck I was going to play football and if I was going to play football again. I ran with the best offer I had and now I'm 195 and I'm getting ready to fucking go take somebody's spot. Because I got that dog in me. Cam Newton entered the NCAA transfer. I mean, Cam Newton entered free agency. My bad. Cam Newton entered free agency with no no types of looks, no types of love. People saying his career is over. He's too hurt. He's too this. He's a loose cannon. He's whatever the fuck they were saying about him. He's too hurt. He's too injured. His career is up. Bill Belichick gave him one last chance. And now he's making the most of it and he's running. He's running with it and he's tearing shit up. And he will make the league feel his pain. Me? I entered the NCAA transfer portal, 177 pounds. Now I'm 195 and get ready to take somebody's spot and I will make the whole conference feel my pain. So y'all need to be inspired. Y'all need to get inspired. Y'all need to find someone to motivate you. Find something to motivate you. Whatever the circumstances is, find that shit and let it motivate you. Whether it's the disrespect you received from people, whether it's the pain you went through, like I said, not crutches, stepping stones. That disrespect should be in the back of your head every single time. I'm on the bench press and I hear people saying his career should have been over. He sucks. He shouldn't even be playing college football. He's too short. He's too this. He's too that. He's mentally unstable. He's a loose cannon. He's whatever the fuck they were saying. Whenever I'm on a bench press, whenever I'm squatting, whenever I'm getting ready to go crack someone on the field, whenever I'm locking someone up on the field, I think about all the shit people said about me. And I use that shit as motivation. Cam Newton in the back of his head every time he takes a snap. I bet you he's thinking about not in the moment, not letting it consume him, but using that shit as fuel, letting that shit fuel the fire of, yo, people were saying all this about me. They said my career is done. I'm going to make them feel my pain. People said that my career is done and I shouldn't even be in the spot that I'm in. I let that fuel me and I will make them feel my pain. Y'all need to get inspired, get motivated. Find someone that you want to be like. Take their best parts of them and put that shit into you. Get yourself motivated. Watch that Cam Newton documentary. I seen the preview on Instagram and I got inspired to make this video. Is that people said his career is done, that his shit's over with. I thought my career was done. I thought my shit was over with. I honestly thought I would never play college football again because the mental state I was in and the position that I was in. And I'm very lucky to have one last chance and run with it. Cam Newton is very lucky to be in the spot that he's in because what if all, all the other teams, what if all the, the 31 other teams, what if the Patriots were that 32nd and said, yo, his career's done. He's, a, he's too much of a risk. He's a loose cannon. He's too hurt. He's too injury prone. We're not going to take a chance on him. 
What if those other two schools that actually stuck with me? What if they didn't stick with me? What if they said, yo, he's too much of a loose cannon. He's too much of a risk. He's too much of a liability. Character issues. We don't want to take him. He's too short. We don't want to take him. What if that happened to me? I think about that shit every day. I don't let it consume me. I let it fuel me. What if the Patriots were the 32nd team to not take a chance on Cam Newton? What if those two schools weren't to, weren't to take a chance on me? Where would we be? Two, to two totally different spots. So I let that shit fuel me. I let that shit motivate me. Being overlooked and being disrespected. If you are slept on, if you are overlooked, if you are disrespected, if you're on your last chance, take that shit and run with it. Prove the doubt is wrong. I have a chain. Hold on. I have a chain. My little dog tag says prove them wrong. So every time I'm working out, I wear that shit when I play. I hope nobody snatches it because I'll, you know what I'm saying? But prove them wrong. People are talking about you. People are talking shit about you. People are sleeping on you. People are overlooking you. You feel like you're not getting the requisite recognition you deserve. Keep going. Your time is coming. I promise you your time is coming. I've been overlooked and disrespected for six years now. I'm a sophomore in college. I've been disrespected since my freshman year of high school. I've been overlooked since my freshman year of high school. People said I was a loose cannon, character issues, um, crybaby. That's another thing they say about Cam, he's a crybaby. No, he just wants to win. He wants the best. He has the highest standards. I have the highest standards. Damn right I get pissed off when I lose. I'm pissed off. I want to be great. I'm pissed off for greatness. Work. I don't do as good of a workout as I thought I would. I'm pissed off because I want to be great. Cam Newton loses a game. He loses a Super Bowl. He walks out of an interview because he wants to be great. And a lot of people get mad at him and dog him. People get mad at me and people get mad at me and dog me, but y'all don't understand the passion. Y'all don't understand the fuel that goes behind it. Y'all just see what's on the surface. Y'all only see the tip of the iceberg. You don't see the other 90% of the iceberg that's below the surface. Y'all don't see the pain. Y'all don't see the workouts. Y'all don't see the injuries. Y'all don't see the sacrifice. Y'all don't see the tears, the late nights, the hurt, the early mornings. Y'all only see the tip of the iceberg. Y'all only see the passion and the anger and the sadness when you lose. But you don't see everything that goes into getting to that point where either you win or you lose. And that's why a lot of y'all won't understand a lot of y'all bag on Cam Newton. That's why he's the most overlooked and disrespected quarterback in NFL history. So if you are overlooked, if you are disrespected, let the hate fuel you. Fuel you. Let all the negativity that people say about you fuel you. Like I said, I bet when Cam Newton takes a snap before every game, he's thinking about everything that people said about them. He's about to cram that shit down their throat. This time next year, getting ready for football season, everything that everyone said about me, every school that passed me up, every school that pulled their scholarship from me when I entered the portal, I'm going to make them feel my pain and I'm going to cram that shit down their fucking throat. So go out, go be great today. You're overlooked, you're disrespected, you're slept on, your time is coming, I promise you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this shit, bro. Peace out.